These are some of our main special considerations. Let's go through each one. So first, intranasal Narcan absolutely works, but it will take longer than IV access. So if we give Narcan IV, it's gonna work almost instantly pretty much, right? But it goes right to the vein, obviously. Intranasal Narcan, which is great. There's great absorption in, in theirs to get into the bloodstream. The issue is it will take time. Now I've seen it take up to five to even 15 minutes sometimes to get the effect we're looking for. So what this means, be aware, it's not instant. So we still have to support ventilations, respirations of the patient while we're waiting for it to have its effect, right? So that's key to remember that, right? So in comparison, IV Narcan is gonna happen instantly. The problem is you have to get, you have to be able to get access. And sometimes it can be difficult to get IV access in these patients, right? Because the patient may be an IV drug user, right? Which is why intranasal Narcan is great. We just go up, get that, get that going, right? Then if we're at the paramedic level or advanced EMT, look for IV access throughout the call. So that's just an, an idea for you that you can use. Now, here's the key. If someone shows up in your ambulance and they say, I have taken an opiate and they are under the influence of an opiate and they are talking to you and they're wide awake and the respirations are fine, you do not give them Narcan. The reason why Narcan was produced is to treat the life-threatening respiratory distress, meaning someone's unresponsive and barely breathing or not breathing at all, which is like agonal respirations. They're not, they're, they're not breathing at all. They're unresponsive. There's cyanosis signs, right? We'll go into that in a little bit. There's pit point pupils. That's what we're looking at. Narcan gets them out of that respiratory arrest, gets them out of that respiratory depression state and back to normal respirations. That's the goal of Narcan is to fix the respiratory issue that the opiate is causing, okay? Now, another key here, fentanyl. You may have heard. So fentanyl is an extremely potent medication, right? That we even have an EMS, but it can also be used out in the street and the patient can take it. And then they may not even know that it's mixed in. So what can happen is you can have a, a scenario where either you have multiple opiates or they thought it was this opiate, but now it's fentanyl. They took too much. They're in an opiate overdose. You give Narcan, it doesn't even work. I gave you the normal dosing. You might have to give another dose or even double the dose. Of course, follow your protocol on that. And there probably will be a protocol on that setting in your uh, standing order. But just know that you may have to double the dose or give more dosing to get the effect you're looking for with like fentanyl, for example.